So an update on my prep. I'm four weeks out today. Um, I haven't posted much. I uh, just have felt pretty shitty for the last four or five weeks. Uh, carbs have gotten low. Um, and it's been a challenging prep so far. I had a shoulder injury that was really bothering me going right into it. Um, I had to work around it quite a bit, could barely train shoulders and had to do certain exercises I couldn't do as far as back and, and arms and stuff like that, triceps. Um, but it, it improved gradually over time. Um, and I had plantar fasciitis going into it as well. Kind of, I've been doing a bike mostly for my cardio. Uh, started out at 30 minutes, ramped it up to 40. Currently doing about 40. Um, my off days, occasionally I'll go back in the afternoon and do another 15 or 20 minutes. Uh, that seems to help. So at this point, I am coaching myself. Uh, it's something I've wanted to do for a while, and I've been studying this for years. I, I know how the stuff works, and uh, it's always a challenge. Sometimes you just need another eye. You get looking at yourself every day, it becomes a blur, and sometimes you just need a little help. Um, but I think I have a pretty good uh, grasp on it. Uh, at this point, I do need to, to dig down a little further, <clears throat> have some body fat in the love handles and low back areas. Nothing uh, crazy, I've got, I'm pretty lean at this point. Abs have popped out, I got the veins. So um, I think as long as I just go have a good consistent push to the end, I'll be all right. Uh, my low days, I am getting, I wake up the next day pretty conditioned, um, pretty much right there where I wanna be as far as the uh, aesthetics. I have lost some aesthetics in my core area and some of the lines and whatnot. Um, I was able to put on some size um, during my last rebound after my show, which is a time when you're really uh, apt to grow. Uh, insulin resistance is low and you're really absorbing all the nutrients and the carbs and really utilizing them optimally. And I felt like I I really made some progress there. <clears throat> um, so, uh, like I said, pretty conditioned at this point and uh, just looking to, uh, to finish it off from here. Um, I wanted to talk about mindset a little bit. Uh, you're gonna have these adversities and challenges in a prep, whether it be injuries or your personal life or just work-related things or you know, maybe your car breaks down and you have to, to go through a bunch of mess. Uh, you're always going to have this stuff. Ideally, of course, you want to just stay in your box and be able to focus on your prep and not have outside distractions, which is what I try to do. Um, I've turned off my phone notifications over the last few weeks just to try to block out that outside distraction or anything like that. Another thing I wanted to mention is that I did have um, Justin Harris from Tripona Nutrition uh, make my diet starting the prep. I've made all the adjustments going forward, but he is known as a carb cycling um, expert, if you will. Um, it's kind of his thing. Um, I've found it to be very beneficial in this prep to help keep me full throughout the prep, not going too flat and uh, my strength and, and training has been pretty good. It started to dip here a little bit, which is to be expected when, you, when you're when you on low carbs. So my current diet, I'm basically, uh, my medium days are about, uh, what I think it's uh, about 110, 120 grams of carbs, which is low. Um, that's just what it takes for me to get lean. Um, I am 48 years old. My, the metabolism is not what it used to be. My low days are about uh, 70 grams of carbs, and my high days, we go ahead and push it to five or 600 grams of carbs. I will gain two or three pounds on that day. And, uh, you know, of course, it's just water and glycogen storage. 
but basically uh, it goes up on those days and then we wind it down and down for the rest of the week. And uh, so I would definitely recommend his, um, his diets. Like I said, Troponin Nutrition, if you're interested. Um, it's really helped to keep my legs full as well, which is something I really wanted to emphasize going into this prep. Um, I think doing the bike has helped that, uh, helped keep my legs pumped and fuller and uh, just not grinding it down so much. At this point, I don't feel like I'm in much jeopardy of losing much muscle off of it. Like I said, a good consistent push with the cardio, I, I don't feel like I'm gonna have to, to go do anything like an hour, an hour and a half of cardio. I should be fine. Um, so those days leading up to the to my carb up during the peak week, I'll have a few depletion days uh, where it's probably like 30 to 50 grams of carbs. I don't believe in a complete depletion where you're doing no carbs for like a week. That's a bit extreme, you're gonna find yourself in a hole and uh, gonna find it more difficult to carb up. I'm a person that already takes, it's gonna take me two or three days to really fill out. Um, so my plan is to do a kind of a moderate uh, carb up. Uh, I'm going to uh, start on a Wednesday and, uh, and go ahead and get a good carb up then, probably anywhere from four or 500 grams of carbs, and then Thursday and Friday, I can rack, see how my body handles those carbs, and I can either go lower or push a little harder if I need to. And uh, I'm gonna try to be moderate with the uh, water manipulation. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and push it up to, to three gallons a day for a few days there, and then start winding it down as the week goes and, and cut it off on Friday evening. And Saturday, I'll have a, a moderate carb up. I plan to do it mostly clean. Uh, I'm going to do a little uh, a little trial during this week leading up to my high carb day. Um, not the normal, uh, not as severe as, as you normally would do in peak week, but just to get a, a better idea. I feel like I've gotten a pretty good idea from it from my previous high days. And uh, But those two days leading up to my high day, I'm going to go ahead and probably do about 70 grams of carbs, which is my normal low day. And uh, like I said, after the after my one low day, I get conditioned and I'm right there pretty much where I want to be uh, as far as, as stage lean. As far as uh, losing some of the aesthetics and lines in your physique, this is just something that's going to happen when you eat a lot and you're trying to grow and you're really pushing the food. In my rebound, I ate more than I than I ever have. I uh, really pushed the food up, uh, including my off season. It was a short off season, maybe three, four months. Uh, but I did eat more than I ever have, and I feel like that contributed to uh, to having a little bit chunkier midsection. Um, this is just something that's going to happen when you grow and you eat. Um, Maybe some of the supplementation increased collagen production is going to uh, attribute to that. Um, we don't really know for sure, but uh, you know, it's nothing uh, too severe and it's, you know, it's something that I can definitely live with. I'll take it every time. It's, a, it's called bodybuilding. You wanna put on size, you wanna continually grow. It's not called body staying the same, right? So, <clears throat> There's going to be some give and take there. Uh, nothing comes for free in this world, and uh, that's just kind of how it is. Uh, but for classic classic physique guys, which I'm competing in, uh, you want to kind of keep those uh, those lines the best you can and aesthetics while uh, growing and maintaining a good size. So I'll just have to watch it and, and try to do the best I can with that. I, I have a naturally wide waist anyway that I've kind of learned to hide with some posing, uh, hitting shots and angles, and uh, from the side, uh, I can really push out the air, and uh, you know, hopefully that helps a little bit. At the end of the day, it's the judge's call, what they prefer, um, so uh, this is gonna be my biggest and fullest physique uh, so far. My body composition has changed, so I'm confident in that, 
uh, I know I'm going to bring a good package. Uh, so no matter how I place, uh, I can feel confident in that. And I've done the work and uh, I'm going to continue to do it. And, uh, you know, we'll see how it goes from there.